Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Guitar Tips and this video I'm going to talk about some of the best microphone settings for your Discord. So we're going to directly get into step one by one. So first of all, you have to open your Discord and we're going to talk about some of the best and famous ones that you can try in order to make your Discord smoother and it sounds very good. So the first one, you can go over here at the bottom left and there is an option called user settings and click on this one. And from here you have to scroll down all the way down and you can see we have various options over here and the first one is all about voice and video now if you go over here what you need to do is you can see we have both input and output devices and over here as you can see for my input if you drop down we have various options like you know the microphone in my case i'm using the blue 80 studio microphone which is one of the best ones so far in the market and also even if i go for i have various options but i'm using the blue 80 microphone over here so I'm, I have to set it to this and also the speaker should be set into the output speaker which I'm using I have to set it to that and also regarding the volume over here I can set the input volume either to around 90 percentage over here like this it's it won't make a lot of you know you know it won't make irritating I have to skip it to 90 percentage and output volume can be set into whatever you want to do you can set according to your need. Similarly if you're going through any kind of issues with your mic then you can just go and check for your mic that there will be doing a troubleshoot and all those things next one is all about if you go over here on the input profile you can see we have voice or isolation which means while you're streaming and all those things you know it will be only your beautiful voice which means rust every kind of background voices will be completely turned off and also the studio which is a pure audio with us you know which is you're going to speak with your microphone and no processing but even though it is a good one but even though i'm not recommending what i'm recommending is you can keep this on custom one where you can make all kind of changes and all because if you keep over here on the studio mode while you speak you know your breathing and all those things can be visible to other people they will be able to hear it and for some users they might be a lot of you know irritating so i request you can keep this on custom and if you go over here on the input we have input voice activity and push to talk both are fine but even the voice activity is where I'm recommending but the push to talk is actually you're going to talk to someone with using this which is actually a very important one where you can uh, you know enable a hot key whatever the key that you wanted while you're playing the game you can just or recording you can just press any kind of key from a keyboard so that the push to talk will be enabled and you can use it so what I'm recommending is you can keep this on voice activity and you can move to the next one next one over here as you can see we have voice processing so what i'm saying is in the voice processing you can keep this echo cancellations can be completely turn this off if you wanted to you can turn this off that is fine but even though what happens is in the echo cancellation this is actually a very important one where you know uh, what i have to say while you know for example if you're speaking to someone if your voice is feeling like it is echo in the sense if they are the opposite person feels like your voice is hearing twice then you can turn on the echo cancellation or else you can keep this off now if you go over here in the noise suspensions we have various options like crisp standard and none what i'm recommending you guys is you can keep crisp all the time because it's one of the best one and even if you scroll down you can see we have options like advanced voice activity automatic gain control and even the bypass system audio input processing so over here like i said you can keep this on you can turn this on and also the automatic gain control can be turned on and the bypass system audio input processing can be turned on as well now even if you scroll down we have various options like this and i want if we go back to the global attention over here so under this one you can see global attention so this is actually for uh, you know you can turn this on if you wanted to you can change wherever you wanted to but what I'm saying is this is only if you are having a background sound while stream. For example, sometimes if you are speaking to someone while on a Discord, if no background sound is affecting, then you don't have to turn this on. But if you are speaking the issue with thing, for example, if you are having a huge amount of background, then you have to turn this on. You have to turn on when I speak and you can set into the moderate amount of set over here. Because while you speak, what happens is if the background voice is there, it will be completely muted that is why the global attenuation is there but if you have no issues with the background and all those things if you're in an isolated or in a what you have to say aquatic room then you can keep this zero over here and you can turn this off now afterwards you can go over here and make sure when others speaks and all those things these are basic one over here in the discord inside the settings and now we need to make few more things over here that is we just need to go over here in the sound setting you have to right click over here and go to the sound setting over here and right now you can see first one i need to select the output to the speaker over here as you can see 
because uh, you know it should be speaker so i have to select this one and also make sure where the volume should be so i have set into 24 percentage which is very feasible for me and also if you go over in the input you have to select which one is your need for example you have to select the microphone et uh, i mean the at studio microphone so i have selected this one and i have set into 200 percentage over here and also apart from this if you click on the more sound settings what happens you can see if you go to the recording you have to set the default one so for me in my case the blue at microphone is the default one so i have to make sure it is the default one and also you have to right click on the properties and go to the advanced and also you have to uncheck this and make sure allow application to the exclusive control of the device should be checked over here like this and also you have to select two channel with 64 bit 48000 hertz should be done and go for apply and go for ok and close this and you have to check so these are the best settings for the discord and i hope this quick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification that's it bye bye